In this video, we will draw a plumbing system in a house project. We will use Revit architectural file to draw fixtures. You can download this file from the link in the description below. To insert plumbing fixtures, go to Architecture tab and then click on Component. Click on Load Family. In Revit Family folder, open Plumbing folder. If you do not have Revit plumbing fixtures, you can download from the link in the description below. Now open Bang Key folder. Open Fixtures folder. From Water Closets folder, add one water closet with flush tank. Now we will place it in the toilet room next to the wall. We can add one more in the other toilet. Now we will add sinks in the toilets. Load family of sink in the same way. If you don't have, you can download from the link in the description below. We will add this sink with faucets. Now place this sink along the wall. Add one more in the other toilet. Now our architectural file is ready to be linked in the MEP template. Save this file as Revit link for MEP. Now close this project file. We will open new project file in plumbing template. If you do not have plumbing template file, you can download it from the link in the description. When we open plumbing template, we have plumbing floor plans and plumbing ceiling plans. Now we will link the architectural Revit file here. Go to insert tab, then click on Revit link. Specify the address of the architectural file we prepared earlier. Our architectural file has been linked here. We can see the elements in 3D view as well. Now select this Revit link file. Click on Bind Link. We will add levels and grids. Now we will remove the link. Now ungroup all the elements. Our plumbing template is ready along with walls and fixtures. We can see all the fixtures have input and output pipes. Now let's draw water supply pipes to our fixtures. Open Plan View of Plumbing. Select Water Closets. Now click on Small icon at Input Pipe. Click on the wall to draw the pipe. Now draw a pipe to the outside. Our water supply pipeline has been created. We will change the view settings to find level view to see the pipes in 3D. This is how our water supply pipe will look. Now select the sink and change the elevation of sink to 2 feet. Now open plan view. Click on cold water pipe icon. Now click on existing pipeline. Revit has automatically made connection of faucet to the water supply pipe. Now let's create hot water supply pipe of faucet. Select sink. Click on the icon of hot water line and draw pipeline in the wall. Let's view this water supply system in 3D. This way we can draw the pipelines of the water supply. Now let's draw wastewater and sewerage pipes. In the plan view, we will change the range to see the underground pipelines. Make view depth and bottom to unlimited. Now select water closet in 3D view. Click on small out icon. Make middle offset to minus one feet. Now draw a sewerage pipe outside the toilet. Our sewerage pipe line has been created. This is how it looks in plan view. 
Similarly, we will create a wastewater pipeline from the bottom of the sink. Click on out icon and then put middle offset to minus 1 feet. Now draw a pipe outside the toilet. This way we can completely draw the water supply and sewerage system of a house in Revit. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe our channel to watch more videos on Revit. Thanks for watching.